Happy now, always now, is a gift to be in the present. First day signing back in here, putting out my perception into the cloud of the collective to expand the collective consciousness. You're now tuning into the mind of an algae moon and Horus will be transiting the fifth house in the sky. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Saturn going into Pisces, okay? And what it's gonna mean for every, all the ascendants, every sign, what it's gonna mean for every sign, okay? So starting off, we're gonna start off with Aries. If you are an Aries ascendant, Saturn is transiting your 12th house, okay? So basically, what you're gonna be going through during this time and by the way saturn stays in a sign for two years and 46 days all right two years and 46 days that's how long saturn stays in a sign okay so for these next two years as an aries ascendant saturn is going to be transiting your 12th house as an aries ascendant okay so what this means is 12th house dealing with dreams, illusions, creativity, romantics. Uh, this is the house of Pisces, okay? So you're gonna find yourself trying to make your dreams a reality, okay? So Saturn comes into your 12th house and Saturn deals with lessons, it's the harsh teacher of the of the zodiac. Okay, it's a it's a, a a karmic planet. Okay, so basically, you're gonna be put through lessons in this area of your life, your 12th house. You're gonna be put through lessons, you know, and experiences to basically put your dreams to reality. Okay. You're gonna find it's gonna come with challenges, okay? Saturn will bring challenges, okay, to help you put your dreams into reality. You know, analyze your dreams. Are your are your your dreams? Are they? Is this something that is real? You know, is this something that you can practically see in your reality? See, with this here in a 12th house, you know. Saturn Saturn doesn't really do well in a 12th house, you know, because it's a Saturn is about reality and that 12th house is is the subconscious subconscious realm. Okay? So with this, I would say practice taking care of your subconscious. Okay. Moving on. Next, we're going to go with Taurus ascendant. So, if you're a Taurus ascendant, Saturn will be transiting your 11th house, okay? So, with this, 11th house dealing with associations, networking, uh, associations, networking, you know, this is, Saturn does well here. It deals with astrology, deals with occult sciences, it deals with, what was I going to say? Occult sciences, you know. So, with this, you're going to, Saturn actually does well here, okay, in the 11th house. Because this is the house of Aquarius, and Saturn rules Aquarius, okay. So, you are going to find it easy in these next two years not yeah you're gonna saturn is gonna help you to find the connections that can help you manifest in this reality you know saturn will help you you know find these you know associates business partners people that can help you you know gain some sort of foundation to stand on you know it's gonna you're gonna have to do some work by, by on on your part 
but also you're gonna need to have the intuition to be able to go to this place meet this person you know and connect you know and associate yourself put yourself into the public you know 11th house is dealing with the public you know so you're gonna have to be you're gonna have to go out you're gonna have to be in the public you're gonna have to interact with multiple people you know and find those connections that can help you gain a, a solid foundation in your reality to stand on okay that was taurus next is gemini so if you're a gemini ascendant saturn will be transiting saturn will be transiting your 10th house okay so with this Saturn actually does well here as well, you know, because 10th house is the house of Capricorn and Saturn rules Capricorn as well. Okay. Also, let me go back on the 11th house and say like, because this uh, Saturn doesn't only rule, not only Saturn rules the 11th house, uh, Uranus rules the 11th house or, or, uh, Aquarius with Saturn so Uranus dealing with being a unique individual so in the 11th house you're gonna have to be unique to be able to gain those uh, uh, associations so back moving back to uh, uh, the Gemini Gemini Senate which is transiting your 10th house okay so like I said Saturn does well here 10th house is dealing with status you know, uh, business, you know, how you, how you, you know, status, business, and what you're known for, you know, uh, yeah, what you're known for. So with this, Pisces, Pisces, Saturn and Pisces transiting your 10th house. Okay. So with Saturn being in Pisces automatically it's like it's it's not where it wants to be so with this it's 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 going to bring delusions and you know being it's 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 going to bring delusions and being in that 10th house, basically, you're gonna have to basically find find that status. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to look yourself in the mirror real hard with this, you know? The things you're associating with that, that, can, that can help you out with your status, people, places, and things you associate, associate with that that can contribute to your status you're gonna have to assess these things you know these next two years you know you're gonna have to assess these things and being uh being saturn uh being in pisces pisces being ruled by jupiter you know it's gonna give you, it's gonna expand how you see your status, you know? It's gonna help you expand with your status, you know? And it's gonna help you expand in, a, in an emotional way, you know, emotionally. It's gonna happen for all of us emotionally. You know, with Saturn being in Pisces, we're going to feel going back to the 10th house in Gemini. We're going to you're going to feel like it's you're going to make you feel real deep about your status, you know, and it's going to make you want to reassess your status. But on a depending if if 
if you're satisfied with your status, you know, it's just gonna expand with that. But if if you're not satisfied with your status, it's gonna make you feel deeply about your status. You know? So yeah. Next is Cancer. Cancer ascendant. Saturn is gonna be transiting your ninth house. Okay? So as a Cancer ascendant for these next two years, you know, you are going to be expanding with your religion, your morality, you know, how how you see things, uh how how you see the world, you know? How you see how you see a broad philosophical way of viewing the world, you know? So with this, yeah, it's just gonna expand again. Pisces it is dealing with Jupiter. So your morality, your God, you know, you're going to be getting a deeper connection to your God. You're going to have a deeper connection with your morality, you know. So, and this is going to help you see, see uh, reality for you know truly what it is in your reality you know it's 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 gonna help you expand your how you see this reality next is leo so if you're a leo ascendant saturn is transiting your eighth house okay so Leo ascendant for these next two years but it's for these next two years you are going to be expanding on your you're gonna be expanding on your sex life you're gonna be expanding on things of the occult you're gonna be expanding on anything that's hidden you're going to be expanding on things that are deemed to be taboo. Okay? So, with this, this can also, this, this can also play out as you finding your partner for marriage. Because eighth house deals with marriage. You know? So this can play out like that, you know, but yeah, and this eighth house deals with shared values and also desires, you know, so with this, you're going to, you might even find yourself, you know, dealing with other people's money, you know, you might be in charge of other people's money and how to deal with other people's money you know like financing and stuff like that you know so yeah you are going to it might play out as you having you having uh expanding expanding with your sexual partners you know having multiple sexual partners you know depending on the spirit of course but yeah that's gonna be it for leo ascendant next is virgo ascendant if you're a virgo ascendant saturn will be transiting your Saturn will be transiting your seventh house. Okay? So if you're a Virgo ascendant, Saturn will be transiting your seventh house. So for these next two years as a Virgo ascendant, 
you are going to be expanding with friends, relationships, people, places, and things. Okay? So, the people, places, and things in your reality, Saturn is going to bring some sort of boundary. Saturn is going to bring boundaries in in this area of your life. You're going to have to put some boundaries to your friends, you know, to the places that you go, you know. You're going to have to set some boundaries in your friendship, you know. This might for someone who's getting taken advantage of if you're a Virgo ascendant and you're being taken advantage of in your friendships this for these next two years you're going to be able to peep that you know Saturn brings the energy of boundaries limitations so you're going to be able to put some boundaries to any friendships that you may not want okay so next is Libra okay so if you're a Libra ascendant Saturn is transiting your sixth house okay and sixth house sixth house is dealing with work you know conflict health things you do on a day to day basis okay so with this being a Libra ascendant, you are going to basically have to have some sort of routine in your day-to-day -day life for these next two years. So for these next two years, as a Libra ascendant, Saturn be transiting your sixth house. So... you are going to basically you you're gonna if you if you haven't basically incorporated some sort of healthy lifestyle you know if you haven't incorporated a healthy lifestyle this placement is going to help you do that you know, you're going to feel the energy to want to eat more healthy. You're going to feel the energy to want to work out more. You're going to feel the energy, you know. It's raining. <laughs> you're going to feel the energy, yeah, to want to do these things. You know, live a healthier life, you know. So, yeah. That is, that's going to be the, for Libra Ascendant. Next is Scorpio Ascendant. So if you are a Scorpio Ascendant, Saturn will be transiting your fifth house. Okay? So, fifth house, dealing with entertainment how what you entertain and what you choose to entertain self expressive house house of creativity you know let me get under here house of creativity house of creativity okay so as a scorpio ascendant so as a Scorpio Ascendant, you are going to be expanding. You are going to be expanding with your creativity. Okay, so Saturn is going to give you the energies. You know, you're going to feel the energies to want to 
expand with your creativity. You might feel like you're not doing more creatively, you know? So Saturn is, Saturn and Pisces is going to give you the energies to want to do more creatively, you know? And if you are doing more creatively, it's going to show, it's going to show in your reality as you manifesting with your creativity, okay? So you're going to be manifesting with your creativity. Next, we got Sagittarius. Okay. So, if you are a Sagittarius ascendant, Saturn is going to be transiting your fourth house. Okay? So, fourth house dealing with family, privacy, domestic issues, you know? anything that has to do within the home okay so with this saturn transiting your fourth house saturn being in pisces you know you might feel you might feel like doing more with your home you know you might feel like you know, decorating your home more, you know, you might feel like, you know, creating, you know, help. let's say you might feel like, let's, okay, so Saturn transiting your fourth house in Pisces. You're going to expand in the home. Expanding in the home. Let's wait for that to pass by. So expanding in the home. You might find yourself doing more practices in your home. You know, you might find yourself gaining stability. Gaining gaining some sort of income from the home you know with this you know so and also setting boundaries when it comes to certain family members you know setting boundaries when it comes to certain family members okay so next, okay, next is Capricorn Ascendant. Okay, so if you're a Capricorn Ascendant, Saturn is transiting your third house. So for these next two years, for these next two and a half years, as a Capricorn Ascendant, you are going to be dealing with boundaries when it comes to your surroundings, you know, how you communicate, you know, uh, close relatives like cousins, you know, just your surroundings in general. Okay, so with this. So third house dealing with familiar places and faces, you know, you are going to find yourself gaining stability, you know, with familiar people, people that are familiar with you, you know, and you are going to find yourself you are gonna find yourself gaining some sort of stability with people that you're close to. Um, and look around in your surroundings. You might have opportunities in your nearby surroundings, you know? So, yeah, and your communication. You might find yourself expanding your communication. You might find yourself learning a new language during this time. 
you know, if Saturn is transiting your third house and you are a Capricorn ascendant. Okay, so moving on to Aquarius ascendant. If you're Aquarius ascendant, Saturn is transiting your second house. Okay, second house is dealing with fixed values, your values, money, possessions, gifts. Okay? So, with this, Saturn is going to bring, Saturn is going to bring the challenges to gaining some sort of, you know, money or things, something that you value. You know, anything that you value, you know, Saturn is going to expand, ex expand away, expand and open a way for you to be able to gain the things that you value. You know, your money at this time, you're going to have to be, you're going to have to be strict with how you spend money you know uh also how you spend and make and make money is you know it's gonna be expanded you know there's gonna be more opportunities to be able to gain the things that you value you know so that was Aquarius. Next is Pisces Ascendant. If you're a Pisces Ascendant, Saturn is transiting your first house. First house deals with the self, anything that has to do with you personally, deals with your insecurities, things like that. Okay, so with this, again, like the 10th house, uh, Saturn, is going to hold up a mirror okay you're going to have to look at yourself you know uh you know you're going to have to look yourself long and hard in a mirror and basically set boundaries you know set things you know certain feelings that you have about yourself. You're gonna be able to, you're gonna have to detach to certain feelings that you have about yourself. You know? The way you see yourself is going to expand, you know? And for you to expand, you're gonna have to detach to old ways of looking at yourself, okay? So it's bringing in a new perspective about yourself and how you see yourself personally, okay? So, yeah, that's gonna be it. Fresh say signing out, catch you next now.